It was just absurd. Then you had Vivek Ramaswamy, who on this particular issue, I don't think he gave the strongest answer, but he did bring up, I think, a very interesting point that we just don't talk about. And I suppose I was a little bit surprised to hear this argument coming from Ramaswamy versus, say, a Mike Pence, which is, it's not just about stronger police, but he also got into faith and the role that that plays. But before then, he gets into sort of the mental health stuff, which again is incredibly important. So the reality is we have a crime wave in this country and we know how to fix it. The question is, do we actually have the spine to do it? More cops in the streets who are on the streets able to do their jobs without looking over their shoulder for getting sued. And we also have a mental health epidemic in this country. Just over the same period that we have closed mental health institutions, we have seen a spike in violent crime. Do we have the spine to bring him back? I think we should. As president, I will. Uh, I'll let him finish in a second. I, I don't agree with the framing around do we have a spine? We're not the problem, right? And I know he's talking more generally, but it's not Republicans who lack a spine here. And frankly, it's not Democrats who lack a spine. It's an ideological difference. Are there some Democrats who are too terrified to stand up to the radical left wing of their party? Yes, 100%. Absolutely. But I do think that there is an ideological position that Democrats take versus what Republicans take as it relates to policing and just the criminal justice system in general. I have no doubt that anyone on that stage holds a pro-police position, holds a uh, strong on crime position, go after the bad guys, call out the corrupt, far left, radical prosecutors. They would all hold basically that same position. So it, I don't think it has anything to do with a lack of a spine. But it's not just drugging up people in those psychiatric institutions with Zoloft and Seroquel. It's a deeper issue. I think faith-based approaches can play a role here too. We're in the middle of a national identity crisis. And I say this as a member of my generation, the problem in our country right now, the reason we have that mental health epidemic is that people are so hungry for purpose and meaning at a time when family, faith, patriotism, hard work have all disappeared. What we really need is a tonal reset from the top saying that this is what it means to be an American. Yes, we will stand for the rule of law. Yes, we will close the southern border where criminals are coming in every day. And yes, we will back law enforcement because we remember who we really are. To me, that was an interesting way to answer this question. And, you know, we've talked in the past from time to time about just the importance of, in general, the importance of faith. And how when you go away from any sort of faith-based society, you end up seeing a lot more problems and chaos, disorder. And what have we seen over the course of the last, what, decade or so? We've very clearly seen a decline in the trust in faith. So I, I, I liked his answer. I didn't think it was the strongest, but it was interesting. And ironically, it came from him instead of Mike Pence, and then even – with some further irony, it was at that point that Mike Pence went after Ramaswamy. Because at the end there, he starts to talk about, you know, what is our identity as a nation? We don't have an identity crisis, Vivek. We're not looking for a new national identity. The American people are the most faith-filled, freedom-loving, idealistic, hard-working people the world has ever known. We just need government as good as our people. Well, Mike, I think the difference is you might have, some others like you may have on this stage, it's morning in America speech. It is not morning in America. <laughs> we live in a dark moment, and we have to confront the fact that we're in an internal sort of cold cultural civil you war. You are equating the American people with the failed win. government in Washington, D.C., we just need government as good as our people again. So, I can so, and you know what? Mike Pence's response there, while I think it was a little disingenuous, there's some truth to that, right? I mean, I don't think that the vast majority of people, I don't think the vast majority of Democrats hold positions that the Democrats in party power hold, right? The average voter who's a Democrat, I don't think they ever supported the defund movement. I don't think they believe ACAB. I don't think they hold a position on white supremacy culture and how we have to dismantle systems of oppression. But at the same time, they are the ones who constantly put these people in positions of power who do, in fact, believe that nonsense.